Hey, what is going on, y'all? This is Jeff, and we're in a garage today. My question for you is, are you ready for cold weather riding? If you're not, watch this video. I'll get you started. And even if you are, watch it anyway. Maybe you can get something to add to your bike. Let's go. So in addition to the Custom Dynamics bag lights install, I'm gonna be doing the modification where you put this harness on and I'm gonna mount it right here to this air deflector. But basically you put the harness on and connect it with your battery lead, your SAE battery lead. So that way you don't have to have it tucking out from underneath the side cover. I really didn't care for that because in the winter I ride all year long and in the winter I use my heated gear. Uh, we're in Virginia, it gets down to about 42 degrees. So wind chill, you're talking about in the 20s. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and install this so it's nice and clean looking, but then also it's out of the way. I can plug in my heated gear and I can also plug in my battery tender and I don't have to worry about it sticking out of the side cover. So I'm just gonna route this right here. This is gonna come out from, uh, from in between the frame. Gonna route that right there and then connect this on up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm a little nervous about drilling this. Um, I think I'm gonna take it off the bike, the heat deflector. I think I'm gonna take it off the bike to drill it just so I don't miss or, or do anything weird on the bike itself. And then also I'll take a Dremel to it and round the hole out to make it the proper size that it's supposed to be. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this off and then I'll join you back where I'm drilling the actual side cover itself. There we go. And I've already pre-drawn out where the hole needs to go for the lead. So now I'm gonna go out to my shop and grab the drill and everything else I need and start to get to work. So I'm gonna pre-drill me a guide hole in two different spots. And then I'll come back behind that and drill it out with a bigger drill bit. That was 3.30 seconds. Now I'll come back with the largest drill bit I have that's at least sharp anyway. This is a 3 eighths. Yep, and that 3 eighths will get us right where we need to be for the install of the actual harness itself. Now I'm gonna get the Dremel out and just wallow out that hole to make sure it's nice and clean. And uh, we'll put the harness in. Sanding disc is a little bit too big. So I'm gonna use a grinding stone for this. It's not ideal, but it's what I have. That's small enough. So we'll go ahead and get this hole cleaned up. So I've got the hole all drilled out. The Dremel cleaned it up a little bit. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more just to make it nice and neat. But the ACE adapter, as you can see, installs right in the slot. 
So that was a 3 30 seconds drill bit for the pre-drill. And then I walled it out with a 3 8 and then hit it with the Dremel. And so it's going through the, the line, the it's going through the cover now. And I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this attached up the rest of the way. And then I'll put the heat shield back on, make sure everything works out, and then we'll call it good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this cover off because I don't need it. It's gonna stay connected all the time. So I might even throw some electrical tape around here just to make sure that no water uh, gets in the lead or anything like that. But we'll get it all buttoned up and come back to you. All right, so the hole is all widened. Uh, this has this particular adapter. I don't know if you can see that or not has like three different thicknesses. You might be able to see it right there. It has like three different thicknesses. So I really wanted to make sure I only opened up the hole big enough to actually fit the harness in there. So I took the Dremel to it, walled it out. You can see how it is right there. Put the harness in. Everything goes in really, really well. So then all I'm gonna do is take and put the two screws in that came with the, with the kit and then we'll go ahead and install it on the bike. And I no longer have to worry about the routing of my SEE adapter for either battery charging or for my heated gear, which will be a huge relief in the winter time. Not having to worry about it flapping around and all of the other kind of junk. But you can kind of get an idea how the install went right there. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the screws that came with the kit, and then I'll put it back on the bike. So I've got the lead installed, all the, the two screws put in, nice and tight fit. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and run the wire to the adapter and then I'll put the screw, the bolts back in to the actual cover itself. The spark plug wire back in there. Go ahead and route this back through. A little bit of patience never hurt anybody. And there we go. We're all connected up underneath the side cover. I'll tighten all this up and we'll call it good on this install. All right, so nice and tight and installed. I might, I think I'm gonna run a zip tie back here, just to make sure that this doesn't chafe on the, what I would call the firewall that goes between the, between the frame and the engine bay. I'm gonna go ahead and do some stuff in here to assure that up, make sure that nothing, I don't want any rubbing or anything like that to cause a short. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up and then I'll do a, a walkthrough on the final install and we'll call this portion good.